Hey guys, welcome. This is a video comparison between the iPhone iOS 5 and Android's new ice cream sandwich operating system. You're currently looking at two Verizon phones, one being the iPhone 4 running iOS 5 and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. I can't show you the iPhone live because it is not active right now but this is just a comparison between the two operating systems not between the two phones clearly the Galaxy Nexus is just the better phone specs wise as of right now um, the iPhone 4S is a little more comparable we'll start out with some things that I like about both operating systems first being the iPhone 4 so if we look at it let's see if we can get it nice and focused here I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab to record this, so not the best picture quality. But if you look, the iPhone operating system, fairly standard, laid out kind of like a grid. You can see the different apps here. Phone scrolls left to right. Pretty standard. You can make folders with the iPhone by holding down on any of the apps, dragging them on top of each other. Nice feature. Uh, something that I don't tend to use when I use an iPhone. One of the things I like most about the iPhone operating system, um, iOS 5 or any of the ones before it, is the keyboard. The keyboard is really, really nice. Maybe it's mainly because it's something that I've used quite a bit. But the keyboard is very accurate. Very, very easy to use. Um, really, really nice keyboard. Um, the size of the phone is also something that's really nice on the iPhone. The phone is really well made, just really pretty. Everything about it just really nice. Um, the new drag down window. If I can get it to work here. Kind of reminiscent of Android phones. Still, iPhone implementing it a little bit better than than uh, I think Android has. A little prettier textured background. Gives you all of your notifications, phone calls, stuff like that, things that are going on with apps. Um, the iPhone, another thing that's great about it is battery life. You can see it tells you the percentage. We can get it to focus here. Uh, maybe not, but it's saying 83% battery right now. The iPhone, uh, it's hard to it's hard to explain how how important battery life is on a phone. The battery lasts really a long time compared to any smartphone. Um, just really, really nice. It can make it, if you use it fully for a day, you charge it one night, you wake up in the morning, you use it fully for a day, you could not charge it the next night. It would be dead in the morning, um, still alive, but getting low on battery. You'd have to charge it again soon. Um, the apps on the, on the iPhone are just better. Some, some, a little bit more selection, a little bit better quality apps. Um, TiVo app, one of my favorite ones, not available on Android as of yet. Uh, most of the other ones, though, pretty standard. You can get them on both operating systems. They both, they both have a lot of apps. I mean, it's nothing like BlackBerry, where we can see they're really struggling in the app department. But pretty much everything you'd want here. The only thing I can't show you with, on iOS 5 on this phone is Siri, which is a pretty big seller for this phone. Um, voice control. In order to activate Siri on the iPhone 4S, you'd hold down the home button like I am now. On this phone, voice control pops up, nothing like Siri. Um, but, you know, I don't know how well it works. I've used it a little bit. I don't think Siri is that great. Um, I think it's going to be a lot better over time. Another thing great about iPhones is the Retina display. Really, really crisp. It's a really, really pretty display. So I think most of us have used the iPhone at this point. Um, not too, too much different in iOS 5, but a little bit of improvement. Not too sure if there's anything else that I'm missing out on, but hey, I think most of us have used iPhone at this point anyway. So this is the new Verizon Galaxy Nexus. This one is active, so I'll be able to show you a little bit more on it. It's Verizon's 4G. It's on Verizon's 4G network. And again, I don't want to compare the two phones. I mean, they're just very different phones as far as specs and the screen and all that. Um, Samsung's AMOLED screen, Super AMOLED Plus, I believe is what this one is. It's a 4.6 inch screen, really, really nice screen. But 
as you can see, the operating system looks a little different. Um, first thing first is there's no more home search um, menu or back button on the Android iOS or not iOS, the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Um, this one has the new update, I believe it's 4.0.3. Um, but yeah, no more buttons on it. So very slick, no home button, no nothing, just the two volume, bu the volume up and down and the power on off button. Android gives you a lot of customization options. I think a little bit more difficult to use than the iPhone, but um, the customization is pretty nice. So as you can see here, this would be a menu button on uh, Android's Honeycomb operating system on this it brings up recent stuff so things where I've been recently my phone calls some videos weather stuff like that just the different apps I really wish I could get this camera to work a little bit more clearly for you but as you can see it's it's much different you have the different uh, the different windows that are open that was not available on the last version of Android gingerbread. Um, again, you, now you can make folders on the Android operating system. This is the Google folder. Pops up with a, all the different Google apps, navigation. Um, navigation is a big plus on Android phones. It uh, comes included with it. It's free. Um, I find the navigation to be outstanding. When I use the iPhone, I have to use VZ Navigator as my... as my... no, oh, that's Netflix. I have to use VZ Navigator as my GPS. Um, the GPS that comes standard with it really isn't that good. There are some GPS apps you can buy, but I think VZ Navigator works pretty well. So back to the Nexus, the free navigation, really, really nice on, uh, on the Android phones. So go back in, another, another folder I created, Google Currents. Um, it's my news and weather, news and weather folder. This phone is really snappy. Um, I think a lot of that is just due to the fact that it's just a pure Google phone. No, um, no manufacturer user interface is put on top of it. If we go into the apps menu, you can see a little bit different than the old Android phones. Now if you scroll past the apps, it brings you into a widgets menu. Widgets another really nice thing about Android phones. I think that uh, I wouldn't be surprised if iPhone eventually ends up with some widgets too. What a widget is. Things like this Google taskbar up top, um, this calendar I have here, that kind of stuff can be moved, deleted, manipulated. These are all widgets on the bottom. Your Wi-Fi indicator, Bluetooth. And I know it's kind of hard to see this, but you know those are widgets. There's all different ones. You can get widgets for anything from clocks to widgets for different apps, calendar, calculator, all that stuff. Um, Android also has the speech to text feature or speech to search. So you can set it up, speak now, say basically whatever you want, type in ice cream sandwich. Let's see what comes up here. So we have ice cream sandwich, it Googles it for me. As you can see, very fast, also running on the 4G network, which is super fast for Verizon. Um, suggest anybody to grab one of these if they ever get a chance. Verizon's 4G MiFi, really a great device. Um, take it anywhere, get yourself some super high speed internet. A little faster than Roadrunner. Um, for the most part, I think it's around the same speed, but I think it's a little bit faster. <clears throat> Alright, another thing that's nice about Android, they've given you in the settings, as we know Verizon, um, Sprint still has unlimited data, but Verizon now limits you to two, four, or eight gigs um, of data per month. Uh, you still can get the unlimited plan if you're grandfathered in, which is nice, but a lot of people now down to two gigs or four gigs with the, with the promotion that's currently going on. But what's nice about this is you can it graphs out your data usage. It shows you what apps you're using what. You can cap your data usage, make it so it stops at two gigs or four gigs so you don't incur any overages. Um, pretty nice. I think that's a really, really nice feature that Android has added. Um, again, the customization on Android phones really, really, really cool. Um, in the developer options in the menu, they have a lot of cool new options too. Again, I really wish you guys could see this a little better. But things like forced GPU rendering, um, it says use 2D hardware acceleration in applications, makes the phone quite a bit faster. Uh, just lots of really cool, neat stuff on this this new operating system. Again, same kind of drag down window as on 
the iPhone. This was originally started by Android. iPhone copied them a little bit, but hey, it's all. Uh, I think it's all good in this battle because they've both been copying each other quite a bit. So these are the two phones, two different operating systems, both really nice. Um, I think you can't go wrong picking either one. At this point in time, I've only been using the Nexus for a couple of days, and I like it a lot. I'm really impressed. I've used almost every other Android phone um, that's on the Verizon network, I should say. Uh, Thunderbolt, Bionic, Razer, um, I've used all of them. This is by far the nicest one, in my opinion. Uh, if you get a chance to grab one up, go for it. I think uh, I think it's a little better than the iPhone 4S right now. Um, but again, that's going to be your decision to make. Two operating systems virtually do the same things. iPhone a little more polished still, but Android um, definitely growing up. All right, guys, have a great day, and uh, make your decision wisely on which one you're going to go for.